a great 10-1 win uh, tonight. Uh, what's your reaction on the game? Yeah, you know, we just wanted to make sure we um, get as minutes under his belts and, and enjoy the game. You know, works up United, they're a, they're a local side and, uh, you know, we play them every pre-season. So it, it, it's great to get uh, the two teams together and, it, you know, it just bonds the community really well. And, we, we you know, we, we, we play them every season and hopefully they, they enjoy that. Um, you know, for us, we want to make sure that we... Um, we're getting as minutes in, we're making sure that we do things right, we make sure we're professional. And I thought we was, I thought the tempo in the first 10 15 minutes were quite slow, which, but um, you know, we, we got ourselves into the game. And I thought when we scored, we were just going in a little bit of confidence. And uh, yeah, I were delighted, obviously, winning the game. Um, and there's some individual performances who uh, have been great, and you know, they put a real good shift in. Uh, Conor Brunt got four and Leon met him with a hat trick. Uh, what was your thought on the on the goals and how they performed tonight? Yeah, well, we, we told us forward tonight that to be to be selfish and score goals. You know, to, going into the season uh, with some goals in the, you know with a handful of goals uh, in pre-season, you know, boards well. And um, we just told strikers, you know, to score goals. We told midfielders to get on the ball and, and, and move and pass the ball as best as you can. Um, and I, I would delight with everyone to be honest. I think. Um, Put a really good shift in, um, you know, and, and you notice we we sort of played half an hour we with, with ten men, and then uh, we played uh, twenty five minutes um, with nine players. So that we didn't expect that to happen, but um, we just wanted to see how as players would react. Um, just being outnumbered, and it made it a little bit more difficult for us. So I played, you know, played with nine men uh, for 25 minutes, which um, gave us a little bit of a tester. But you know, we we, we scored goals in, in in that in that particular part of the game as well. A yeah. uh, couple of trialists tonight. Uh, how do you think they fared? Yep. Um, Two centre halves come in, uh, young lads who we're looking at. Um, hopefully they'll stay around the club, if you know, and 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 the. You know, there'll be someone who we can always call upon. I'll have to have a chat with them. Um, and I think, in in general, that they've stepped in and, and, and sort of covered us, because knowing that we've got a couple of centre halves out. Um, but apart from that, I think uh, we put a good work rate in and, and put a good shift in, and uh, we can take something from the game in terms of uh, in terms of minutes. And hands were on Saturday. How important is it? To to put in a good performance and to keep these uh, yeah. ticking over for the new season. Well, no, no matter who we play against, we, we want to be we want to be putting in a good performance. If it's Works Up United, if it's Boston, whoever it is, we, you know we have um, we have expectations. Uh, and I think if we meet them, we'll, we'll, we'll be satisfied. And we know what we, our players have got bags of mobility, but we know that Saturday will be uh, a tough a tough task for us. You know, they're, they're a brand new side being put together uh, by the manager of the Seagulls, and, and you know there's. Andrew, they will be giving their um, sort of opportunities to, to young players, young keen players. So we, we'll, it'll be a cracking game. Um, so obviously, we want as many supporters down here cheering on Works Up Town, and um, hopefully, we'll put a good shift in.